time in purgatory. How long does one second in purgatory feel like here on Earth? We don't know these realities. We can only make these calculations based on revelations. And when we understand this small aspect of purgatory, you will be glad that you did that divine mercy promise. That's if you did it, and if not, for you to be anxiously waiting for next year when you can do it again. So check out this amazing story. Let's take then for our example in comparison, an account taken from a poor soul in purgatory whose suffering for 15 minutes had seemed like a year. This roughly means that one second feels like eight hours, making half a minute feel like a week, two minutes, a month, one day, a century, and one week, seven centuries. The next time that you consider delaying praying for the souls in purgatory, even for one second, you're making them wait eight hours. Think about that. Now consider this. This is a true story told by Saint Antoninus of the Franciscans in his book, Summa. This story will illustrate the time frame and the suffering of purgatory. There was once a monk who had been suffering a terrible sickness for a long time, causing him much pain. Suffering for so long, the religious became filled with discouragement and begged God to let him die so that he could be rid of his terrible sickness. It had never occurred to him that the sickness was the mercy of God to spare him from even more pain. At any rate, his guardian angel appeared to him and offered him two choices. He could suffer his sickness for another year and go straight to heaven when he died or die now and suffer in purgatory for three days. Having been sick for a long time, he immediately chose to suffer in purgatory. After being in purgatory for an hour, the man's guardian angel came and visited him. Upon seeing his angel, the brother complained to him and said, why do you leave me here in these torments? You promised me that I should only suffer here for three days. How long do you think you have been here? His guardian angel asked him. For several years at least, was the reply. You have only been here for one hour, said his guardian angel. The pains are so intense that it deceives you, and an instant goes by as would a day and an hour feels like years. Alas, the man cried, I have been so blind and inconsiderate in my decision. My good angel prayed to God to have pity on me and allow me to return to I would rather suffer the most terrible sicknesses for two years or as long as God would wish. Rather would I suffer six whole years of the most frightful torments on earth than for one hour suffer the pains of purgatory. It is quite safe to assume then that the poor souls would certainly be grateful if their time could be lessened even by a few minutes. Many of us encounter difficult moments in our life, illnesses and all types of moments where we wish they were over. You hear it all the time. Now he's not suffering. Now he's at rest. Now he's in peace. We hear people talk about their loved ones who were suffering and then died. But little do we know what purgatory can be like. And even if it's the case that you have a few venial sins, and let's say you did the divine mercy promise, and then, you know, within six months you commit one mortal sin or something like that. And previously in this article is talking about how for one mortal sin that is repented of, but not atoned for, you could be in purgatory for upwards of seven years. And we don't think about these things, that purgatory is a long, long, more long time than you can possibly imagine. So for instance, if you remember from the book of Maria Sima, where she says that the average stay in purgatory is 40 years. So let's say you're below average. Let's say you're there for 10 years, kind of given the previous information that you committed a few mortal sins, you repented of them on your deathbed, very deeply repented, but you had not atoned for them. And it was months after the divine mercy promise. Now you're going to be in purgatory for 10 years. That could feel like 360,000 years on earth because of the intensity of the suffering and the way in which time moves. So the next time, that you get a disease and you're complaining to God that you want it to end, think twice. And the next time that you're inspired interiorly to pray for the souls in purgatory and you don't, and you wait even one moment, understand what you're doing to them. My friends, God bless you and I will see you in the next one.